Hello. I'd like to show you some recent record finds. Um, she acquired these about two, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. And uh, maybe two weeks ago from a co-worker. She had some records, so I went over and I took a look. Here's a real odd, rare one here. Bing Crosby sings a great country hits. Ernest Tubb and his Texas Troubadours on Vocalion. Barn Full of Country Western Hits by the Merry Love Singers. I only have one other record on this label actually in my collections. This is the second one I ever saw. I think it's the organ happenings. The back is in full color too. Some girl chewing on a straw. <laughs> Webb Pierce, Sweet Memories. And the back of the body's in really nice shape. Once Over Lightly, Hank Lachlan, although it has a Hank Snow record in it. I kind of knew about it and I couldn't find the right cover to that record, so it's probably going to be like that, I guess. There's another Hank Lachlan album. Looking back, this is from 69. Merry Christmas from Brenda Lee. Soundtrack to the ABC TV's Dark Shadows. The back pictures are very interesting. Ted Weems and his orchestra. Yeah, I don't know what's up with all the hands on the cover, but it's kind of bizarre. It's all in all the back. It's one of the Spinorama Cornet albums. The Jimmy Rogers story, Hank Snow. Um, this must be, this is not about the pop singer from the 50s, this is about. Um, somebody from the 20s or 30s, I believe, that actually recorded in that era for RCA or whatever. Nice shape. I actually have this on the console. Best Always, Rick Nelson. The interesting thing about this album is he does a lot of covers on this. Especially on side two, I know a place, since I don't have you, which is originally the Skyliners. Uh, My Blue Heaven. He does a lot of interesting covers on this, and this is still at the open, but you know, at the original. Then there's uh, a notation from his wife. Berlin Husky, the best stuff. Yeah, a lot of this is mostly country. Uh, the Last Word in Lonesome, which is me, which is a, um, The Last Word in Lonesome, it's the name of the album, but he, but he doesn't cover the Roger Williams song, and that would be interesting to hear, because I like Roger Miller, and hearing Eddie Arnold sing it would be good. Country Music Time, Kitty Wells. Here's one of those rare, old, various artist uh, country and western uh, albums with a whole bunch of different people on it. We got Mr. Hank Lachlan here. Which is kind of cool. Wilburn Brothers show, Ernest Tubb, Merlin, Harold Morrison. 
Don't know too much about that. Dean Autry's Golden Hits. Cool Water, Sons of the Pioneers. I actually have a copy of this on an EP also. But uh, my Alm copy is in nice shape. It has some distortion, so that means it was played a lot or played with a blunt needle. And he ran upstairs and gave me this. I think I have this album, I'm not sure. Lionel Richie, self titled album. It's a gatefold. It's in my end. I don't know too much about this guy. I guess I'll play him. His name's Philip Bailey. I guess some kind of R&B. Not too familiar with him. Air Supply Greatest Hits. Lauren Green, the man. This is actually the second album I have of his. I have a card album from Jerry's a while ago of his. It's not in really not as nice shape as this, but Henry Mancini uh, produced this. Or something like that. Or he puts liner notes on it, I think. Just because he's a local guy. If anybody's a Bonanza fan, it's going to be an interesting listen. Some guy, here's another guy, Gavin Christopher. I don't know who he is. Just single. The Manhattan label. Songs from my heart, Laura Lynn. A nice older album of hers. This one must be like her third album. Beautiful shape. John Gary, a little bit of heaven. He's the one that did Yellow Bird. This is a different. Oh, it's an Irish album, actually. This is a reissue of one of Johnny Cass's first albums on this Columbia Special Edition. I don't have it, but even though it's a reissue, it's still cool to have. The Golden Cream of the Country, Jerry Lee Lewis. The title was actually right there at the end, which is kind of odd. Come here, Zoe. 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 It's Patsy Cline. Vercalion. World of Johnny Cash. It's actually gatefold and shows a lot, a lot of his albums inside. Come here, Zoe. Get the broom. Come here. Songs of Tragedy, Hank Snow. A portrait of Fancy Klein on uh, Decca. Hillbilly Heaven, Tex Ritter. That picture you can kind of tell like he looks like his late son John, doesn't he? Oh yeah, you can tell that's his father. And John's his son. I have another album of him, and I think I have a few 78s of him. And last but not least, Elvis sings Flaming Star, an original Camden of the late 60s, which is, is when I part when I switched that solid label. 69. So that's my surrounding score from a few weeks ago. Um, if you enjoy that, I actually. Uh, show the ones I just got in the mail the other day. I'll be posting that video soon. Take care now.